Hey guys, it's Colton Lindsay with Winning the Inner Game. Welcome to another Monday Mindset video. Today's topic is persistence. And I'm reminded of the famous book, Think and Grow Rich. And if you remember the very first of that book, Three Feet from Gold, when Darby finished just three feet from gold. And it was a lesson that taught him his entire career, specifically into his uh, career as an insurance salesperson, that to not take no for an answer and to be persi persistent and move forward. There's a whole book at it, a book written on this topic. Sharon Lecter wrote it. It's called Three Feet from Gold. So the question is, when you've got your success defined, right? And remember the number one problem why most agents fail and most people fail is because they don't define what success looks like for them. The cool part for you is you get to define your success. You get to actually write the definition for success. So once you've created that definition of success, the idea is to be persistent, to never quit, to never give up. And the only way you can ever fail is by quitting. And along the way, you're gonna face a lot of temporary defeats. You're gonna say a script the wrong way, you're gonna make a bad hire, you're gonna take an overpriced listing, or you're gonna do something wrong. That's going to happen 100% guaranteed, I can promise you that. The question is, is when you get knocked down, whether it was your own mistake or something that came and blindsided you, the question is, are you gonna get back up, and how persistent are you going to be? I can promise you this, my success thus far has only been because I have been so persistent. It hasn't been because I've got my great looks or I'm anything special or anything different compared to anyone else. It's because I was willing to get up over and over and over again. It's the persistence that I have been able to build as a skill set and an attribute and a characteristic. So the question is, is how can you be a little bit more pers persistent? Maybe it's ask one or two more times for the appointment, or maybe it's make a few more phone calls or do an extra 20 or 30 minutes of prospecting, or maybe it's just spend a little bit more time focusing on your vision, visualizing what it is you want to create. And when you go that extra mile, and Napoleon Hill talks very clearly about going the extra mile, when you go the extra mile, Traffic clears up, baby, and opportunity just falls into your lap. You might have to move a foot to the right or a foot to the left to take advantage of that opportunity, but opportunity just falls into your lap, basically, when you are persistent and you go the extra mile. Make sure to like, comment, and share this video if it's created enough value for you today to make you a little bit better. And make sure to remember to stay persistent in your life and in your business, and most importantly, what it is you want to create with your definition of success. Make sure to check out fearlessagent.com for the absolute best coaching and training on the planet when it comes to real estate sales. And I appreciate you guys. We'll see ya. So how do I monitor that? And that is directly into my emotion and the guidance scale. And one of the powerful things to understand is probably your first five or six emotions, your positive feeling emotions are what magnetize and manifest in the 3D, the thoughts. So the thoughts tra transmit what the, the blueprint is and the, the, the energy, the emotion is what magnetizes and attracts and powers it and creates it and prints it off in 3D.